Okay. All right. So we're going to try to record this. We may stop a few times, but we're going to get through it. How to be your own bank. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can control your own wealth and be your own bank. First, let's start at your income. You probably receive money from your job or maybe you're a business owner. Maybe you retire, you receive a pension. Maybe you were lucky, you got an inheritance. In any case, monthly or bi-monthly, you receive a paycheck. Now, when you get that paycheck, there's normally only four things you could do with that paycheck. You can, let me say, you can save it. You can invest it. You can spend it. And you can gift it. All right. So again, whether you have a job, you own a business, you're getting paid during pensions, or you earn an inheritance if you're lucky enough to have money passed down to you, you will receive a paycheck, a digital coin or, you know, wired money, you will receive something. Now, typically what we do are one of the four things. We either try to save it, invest it, spend it, or gift it. Now, what if you, what if you could put your money into a place instead of going here right off the rip, right? Instead of going to save, invest, or spend, what if you came over and actually I'm going to start over what if you created your own bank to where you can put your money that you get total access to where you can save, invest, spend, gift, plus what I'm about to show you. So I hope I got your attention right now because this is probably 99% of the people on earth right now that are going through this process and that are spending their money this way. I'm going to show you a way to be your own bank and you will be able to leverage not only the money but you'll be able to leverage the interest you'll be able to lever leverage your life benefits ah so much more but take a screenshot of this first i want you to see this go ahead and save this picture let me take a picture myself so i see it and then we're going to wipe this down i'm going to show you what we can do next so we just went over the idea of us creating our own financial bank right And we'll actually call this your family bank. So for the example, we'll use this bank, this area, this place that we control completely. We'll call this the family bank, okay? Now, when your money is inside your family bank, you earn dividends. You earn guaranteed growth, guaranteed growth. For life, you earn tax-free growth for life. You can leverage the cash value that you build up in it. You also have a death benefit. So in case you die, it's going to pay out a benefit to your family. Uh, that's personal. Also, if there's creditors, right, anybody you owe that's looking to get money from you, it's going to protect you from the creditors. So another thing is also because, you know, it's money, money produces opportunities. So now you'll have opportunities inside your family bank to do things like, let's say, invest. If you want to invest in stock markets or crypto or Let's say you want to do a big purchase, like uh, purchase a home for your family or purchase a car note or let's say a wedding or, you know, college tuition, whatever it is, this bank that you're going to build, right, is going to pay you in dividends. It's going to grow 
guaranteed, guaranteed growth for you. You're going to get so many tax-free advantages, like it's going to grow tax-free for you. You'll also get cash value that you can leverage instantly. And then also you'll have a death benefit. In case you die, it's going to cash your family out instantly. You don't have to worry about probate. You don't have to worry about any creditors. And then there's opportunity. So what you were looking to do in the first place, which was, you know, spend, donate, uh, I'm sorry, give, save, invest, right? Those things all come here. So when you save it, it's going to grow. When you actually decide to borrow from yourself, you can get the cash value, you can spend it, right? So you're borrowing from yourself, you're not borrowing from anybody else. When you decide to invest it right here, you borrow from yourself, so that way when you need to pay back the loan, you pay yourself back. Now, I wanna go over more benefits of this because you're probably looking at this right now, you're like, hold on, man, this is, this is, this is too good to be true. What's the other side of this, all right? So take a screenshot of this, so you can see exactly why you want your own family bank. Oh, you know what? There's another one I forgot on here. There's zero market, 0% risk because there's zero market loss. That means that if the market goes down or the more anything happens to the market, nothing happens to your money. So you have access to this money. So then when you want this money, you have access because it's liquid. You can take it out and do whatever you want. All right, so we got that part. Now, how do we do this? Take a screenshot. Okay, how do we do this? All right, so it's kind of like a mortgage. So if you're familiar with like home ownership, you understand that you put a monthly mortgage payment into the bank, right? You have a monthly mortgage payment that you make, it goes to the bank, and what happens is, as you're making those payments, you start to build up value, which they end up calling equity, right? So you earn equity. You earn equity in your mortgage, and what happens with the bank is the bank see that you have equity, then they offer you something called a home equity line of credit, right? A HELOC, right? So. Now you have value in your house. The bank sees that you have value in your house. They're willing to loan you money on the equity that you have built up. So being your own bank, the family bank that I'm talking about is similar to this, but it uses some things that distinctively separate it from a traditional bank. And I'm going to write that down right now so you know. So the family bank sort of works the same way, right, as this traditional bank where you would go and you would take out a loan to get a mortgage. But with your family bank, now I want y'all to stay with me on this one. You own it. Let me, ooh, chip, boom, ah, yeah. You own it, right? So in your family bank, unlike the bank where you're borrowing from the mortgage to try to get the home equity line, you own it, right? You own it, right? Number two, there is no repayment schedule. So you pay yourself back whenever you want, right? You control it. So it's your money, you're borrowing from yourself, and you repay it back whenever you want. So that's two of the benefits that make the family bank so, like, really one of the most reasons why you want to utilize it. But hold on. Hold on. Come back with me. Come back with me. I forgot to put this on there, guys. This is one of the this is one of the biggest things, and it should have been number one. But you get guaranteed growth here. Where versus your house, you don't know what what's happening with the market. You don't know if it's going up or if it's going down. So you don't know if you're going to guarantee to make money with the traditional bank. You don't know if you're going into equity guaranteed. But here with your own bank, you own it. You control the repayments, and you get guaranteed growth. Unlike the mortgage situation that's happening with the bank. So screenshot this one, save that one, then we'll go ahead and move on to the next. Something very important, I needed to make sure I add it. Okay. All right, so you're like, what product are we talking about? So how you build your own bank 
is through something called whole life insurance. More specifically, we use a specific type of life insurance contract. So how it works is you capitalize your policy through premium payments. I'm a little off the board here. Okay, so you make premium payments, right, into a life insurance policy. I put premium payments. Now, let me go ahead and pause because I have a guide in my ear, but I want to pause this so I can get more into detail about this. Now, here's the important part because it's not just any life insurance policy. It's a specific life insurance policy. Uh, there are companies out there that you can borrow from and that you can go get life insurance with but if you want to really maximize your wealth you want to listen to this information very very closely um when you're thinking about whole life insurance there's different type of life insurance companies uh for instance there's companies who you, they're called stock market companies or stock companies which these are privately owned companies that trade publicly and they earn their money based off of, you know, trading money. And that's how they insure you is through the money they, they trade and they make. So there are a bunch of companies, too many to name, but you could do your research. You'll find out about stock companies. But the one we are going to use is mutual. We're looking for mutual companies. Now, I want to give you an example. And I'm going to let you know the ones that we use uh, because we use actually one, one out of the two top mutual companies in the world. Now, why this is important is because when you're dealing with a stock, like you heard me say, there's other people that own this. They own the stock. They make the money. So when there's dividends, like you heard me explain earlier before, you don't get any of the dividends. You want a mutual company. When you have a mutual company, that means you have a mutual interest in the outcome of the company. So what that means is these companies make you a shareholder, a policy owner. So when you get a life insurance policy with a mutual company, you own the policy. When you get one with a stock, you don't own the policy. So when the company makes money, you can't participate. Now that takes me to another thing is because after you make sure you have the right company that you want to go with to uh, position yourself best, you want to make sure that you are looking for a... Now there is this one where it's non-participating, where... These are companies that do not participate in the market. So when they or actually you don't participate, so they can't pay you when they make money. Their contract that you have is non-participating. So you don't make money when they make. We don't want that necessarily. Now, again, everybody's situation may be different. But for this building your own bank and this you know, creating this infinite banking system, you definitely want a participating. Now, again, my, my handwriting is very sloppy guys but you'll get it participating <laughs> now I'm participating you're looking for a participating mutual company right and now once we distinguish the company that we're looking for now I'll, I'll write the example down um the company that we use is Forrester's which is really a good one and I believe North American is another one. Actually, we, we, we're brokered with over 50 different companies. So the great thing about us is we don't try to sell you on one. We really go find the best option for you, and we provide that to each and every person. So we'll go find the best mutual. Unless you wanted a stock, we'll show you how to work this out in stock. But the best way to put this together is through a mutual fund and make sure it's participating. So when it earns those dividends, I, I, I spoke of earlier. Now, with Mo uh, Foresters, I believe they're at 44 to 6%, somewhere around there. So imagine your money sitting somewhere and every single year you're earning 44 to 6% on that money. You tell me the last time Bank of America gave you 44 to 6% on your money for sitting there. I'll wait, it never happens. So here with this company, you'll earn from dividends because they participate in the market. So not only are you gonna earn interest and grow on your money, right? Not only are you gonna have access to your money, the moment you create the policy, 30 days from there, you can pull out. I'm going to show you that next. But I wanted to show you the reason why the specific type of life insurance policy is important. You want to make sure you have the right company. You want to make sure it has the right setup so that way you can get the maximum benefit as far as cash value. So let me go ahead and step over here for this. So now that we have um, 
the type of policy we want. More specifically, there is a version that we're looking for. And the one we like to look for is words, keywords like limited pay or guaranteed pay. Anything limited pay means there's a limited time you have to pay into the policy before it's completed and you have 100% access to your money. Now, listen carefully about this. There's two. Now, there's going to be people that will tell you, you know, two different things about, oh, I could have moved over here. I didn't notice this whole time. Now, we're going to use this side of the board, but you're going to hear two different versions from people. Some people are going to say things like, man, let's pay this policy off quick. The quicker it's paid off, the quicker you get access to the capital. Now, here's something you don't want to run into. There's something called a modified endowment contract, short-term MEC. Now, if you get yourself hemmed up trying to create wealth and you get involved and actually create one of these, you will be taxed. So all of the benefits we're talking about, you're going to miss out on because you created a modified endowment contract. And people who do that are people who usually try to get life insurance policies and fund them with as much money as they can straight out the gate. Now, there is a trick. I don't want to say a trick, but a sweet spot. So if you are somebody that wants to maximize as fast as possible, you would be looking for a limited pay, seven pay type contract because seven pay is the minimum amount of years that you have to have in a contract in order for this not to look like a modified endowment contract. So your minimum years is seven pay, seven years of making payments in order for you to maximize your bank, right? Now, most people play it safe. They do a 10 pay because when you do something like seven years making payments, let's say you put more extra money into it just to try to build it up. You can put yourself in harm's way and it end up uh, being placed in this bracket right here, which is modified endowment contracts. So 10 pay will give you, you know, 10 years of payments. We'll spread it out that way. If you do want to add something called a uh, paid up, we'll go over that later, but a paid up interest, uh, additional, which you can add on. So you can put more money into your policy, but some people do 10 years. Forrester's actually has a 20, 20 year where, you know, you pay on your policy for 20 years and then it's maximized and you can keep paying into it and you can keep earning interest on the money you pay into it. Now, I'm going to tell you what I learned and why I like the 100 year, 121 year, whatever it is. Some people are like, look, bro, I don't want to make a payment until the day I die. Right. I want to make my payment and and, and be out the game and have my money. Now, let me just plant this seed. The dollar from 1930 is not worth what it was. No, the dollar now isn't what it was worth in 1930. It isn't what it was worth in 1968. It isn't what it was worth in 2000. It, wasn't, it isn't what it was worth in 2010. So if you can see the dollar, I'll write this up here, the dollar, the value has been declining. So I say that to say this, if you pump all your money in right now to a savings account, right? Put all your money, big fat bank there, and the value of that dollar is going down anyway, you're just losing money long term anyway because the value is continuing to go down. Now, if you spread this payment out over time, right, and you reach your, your, your fullest maximum capacity and, you know, maximizing that policy, if it does go down, it won't go, at least it won't go down as fast because you have more of a path uh, to pay out, you know, a hundred years versus 20 years. So I say that to say this, if you do the hundred year pay 30 years from now, when a dollar isn't what it's worth right now, you'll probably have more money. But if you're somebody who needs to get, you know, a policy funded, you're a little bit older, you don't have, you know, 30, 40 years, you want to do a 20 year Forrester's has an amazing 20 pay. So these are the ones we, we typically work out for our, our uh, clients is a 20 pay or a hundred pay are a hundred years. So now you're seeing that there's a specific type of policy. Now let's get into um, how this policy works and what do you have to do? So now you see the policy and take a screenshot. Boom, boom. New whiteboard. Okay. Okay. 
Actually, you know what? I like starting on this side of the board. Yeah. Okay. Let me go back up here. So, those premium payments, right, that you're paying into your policy goes in there. It's locked in for good, right? Now, when you do this, there's also a separate bank, right, or reserve that is mutually owned by you, the policy owner, and the policy maker. Now, when you want to access your cash value, you get a collateral from your bank, your bank right here that you're building, the cash value. No questions asked. They're not going to ask you why you're getting the money or, you know, why you're coming for it. This is the beauty because, you know, when you think about borrowing money, there's really, there's new, there's just big pools of money, right? And there's banks that have access to the big pool of money. Um, then there's life insurance, right? But if you try to borrow from your bank, if you try to borrow from your bank, right, you'd have to wait to go into their pocket of money and go on their terms. Why do that? Well, you can go straight into your own pocket, which is the life insurance, and you get access to it. So again, you, you make your premium payments. It builds up a cash value that never dies. It actually grows, right? So you're growing your money in this policy. And then when you need to borrow, because you partner with a mutual company, they allow you to borrow from their bank, which is your bank, a mutual bank, to get a collateral for cash value, and there's no repayment schedule. So whenever you decide to pay this back, that's when the money goes back in. Now, here's a few things I want to highlight about this because some people are probably like, all right, well, I get it. I, you know, I get my money. I put my money into a policy. I have all of those benefits that you explained earlier, but then I got to pay my money back. So it's like, I don't have a full benefit. Uh, for, let's say, let's use the example 200. I don't have a full $200,000 life insurance because I just borrowed a hundred thousand dollars cash value so I can start my business. Well, I'll show you something and I'll tell you something. I'll show you after I tell you, but I'll tell you that you still have $200,000 in your account, even when you borrow $100,000. And the dividends that you're earning interest on is on this amount right here, your face amount. So when you earn that 5% from the company, you're earning it on that $200,000. Now, of course, if you want to cash out and collect this money or do anything with it or open a new policy or put, you know, start all over, you need to pay this balance back. So as long as you don't have a balance, you have access to 100% once your policy is matured. Now, I want you to see this. I want you to see this because there's a way, there's a way that you can take from yourself right now, just like this, borrow the money and you can go put it in to a crypto bank, right? You can open up a crypto bank. What I just showed you was how to do a USD bank life insurance based off your bank account. But what I can do is show you that you can actually do a crypto bank. Oh, bring it back. There it is. A crypto bank where you can put money in, right? And I'll use, I'll use Bitcoin like that. You can get crypto and while you have crypto, you can earn interest on your crypto while it's sitting there, right? So you done borrowed the money from yourself and you got to pay yourself back whenever you're ready to do that. But you're using cryptocurrency, which is going up right now. So you're earning on the value of the coin, but you're also earning interest because it's doing something called staking. So now you have to use a specific type of account for this one too. There's a specific, a specific type of bank you want to use for the crypto. Uh, we call it crypto bank. So for more details, I'll go over that later. I just wanted to show you guys, you know, some value at the light or the light at the end of the tunnel, which you can do with your policy. But you can go get crypto, earn interest, right? And earn value on the coin and then cash out with interest, cash out when the, the value of the coin goes up. And then you go pay this back off. Now you used your money, right? You earn interest right here. So now you have more money when it's time to pay your loan back to yourself and the interest that you pay on that loan goes to you too so it's like a big circle of paying yourself to use your own money so 
I wanted to show that crypto demonstration because that's something we're going to be teaching in one of our master classes and you should see it. So that's pretty much it, man. Right here, you're getting a chance to see the value of being your own banker. We showed you how to do it with life insurance. We showed you how it's going to look once you, you know, fund your account. And then from there, you can do whatever you really want to do. If you want to go invest, you know, if you want to go fund. Now, again, the repayment schedule is totally up to you. So go ahead and take a video of this. I'm sure we're going to make like multiple videos and trainings on this, but I at least wanted to get it done in the metaverse so that way everybody can see this for themselves. They know that, yo, this thing is real. We're really over here, you know, recording. We're showing people how you can use the infinite banking system right now to run your business. So let me go and put my name on this side so you guys can see. And we'll write the words out what we call this today. This is basically the infinite banking system. If you want to learn more about the infinite banking system, I highly suggest you read the book, Become Your Own Banker um, by R. Nelson Nash, I believe his name is. Infinite Banking System. Or you could just simply ask me. Um, our team is full of licensed life and health agents. So we are, uh, this is our job to actually help people create plans that will protect their lives, right? Fun, be your, I'm going to write what, what this thing does at the bottom so you know. Be your own bank. And so you can, you can grow your money. You can protect your life. You can invest. No, borrow and invest. I mean, guys, there's so much you can do. <laughs> there's so much. And to learn exactly how much you can do, you probably want to reach out to me because, again, each person's situation is different. But when you become your own bank, you are in total control. You own it. You are at the top. And when there's interest to be paid, you pay yourself. So I hope this video was informative. I hope you learned something. If you did, make sure you drop some hearts, drop some likes, subscribe to the channels if there's options for that. And I'll see you at the top because the bottom's way too crowded. Peace. <laughs>